system information on Clearfox Automation. When you go to the control unit, the first screen you will see is operating hours. It will always tell you how long is it on the power grid. It will tell you how long the compressor has been running. And then for each step, how long did e every step take in comparison to the others. When you press down, you enter the next screen. On the screen you can see the actual pressure, the actual current, which phase it is in. Currently it's in pause mode. How long the remaining period is and the overall cycle time which is left. And then when set correct you will also see date and time. When you press down again you get into the customer menu and when you press OK you will get to the system information. It might be necessary to provide the firmware version if you need to apply updates. Setting, date and time. When you get to the control unit, the first thing you need to do is set date and time correctly. You can do this by just pressing down and down again to enter the customer menu. Within you will find the section time date. You enter with OK and then you see date format, date and time and you can set it according to your likings. This is necessary so all the messages and errors will be printed with the correct date and time. View messages. To get to the reports, you simply press down and down again to get into the customer menu. You select report and then you can see the last 60 messages. You will always see the latest first and if you press down you will get back in time. This is where date and time are crucial to know. So when you have an error you can get your problems solved. Perform a function test. To do a function test you just need to go to the control unit. You press down then down again. You will then enter the customer menu. Within this menu select function test and press OK. The function test will be beginning with a starting delay so you get time to go to your plant and open the lids and look into it to verify each function. You can also skip this by pressing OK. It first starts with valve 1. Valve 1 is for aeration. During this step you will see the plant actually aerating within the biology and you can also read the pressure within the system. Next is valve 2 which is filling. You will also see the pressure necessary within this step. Next is well free, which is clear water removal. The last step is valve 4, which is sludge, re sludge removal. If present, there may also be a test for the external alarm, which is relay 5. If you don't have an external alarm, nothing will happen during this step. When the function test is completed, the control unit will all automatically leave the screen and resume with the clear water process. Enter password. When you go to the control unit, 
and you press down, you can see in the left top corner that there is a lock symbol. When you press up and press OK, you can enter the password. If you enter the correct password, you will get to the service menu. If you enter a wrong one, you won't get any kind of prompt, but when you get back to the overall screen, you will see there is still the lock present. To get the correct password, you need to contact our technical support. Enter water levels and activate high water alarm. When you enter the service menu, you can also select quick and then you will see setting water level. You enter setting water level by pressing OK. Then you have minimum water level, maximum water level and high water alarm. Minimum wa water level refers to the input point of the clear water pump and should be measured from the ground to the intake. When after measuring you enter it within the screen. You simply press up or down to change it and if you're finished you press OK. If you don't want to save it you simply press OK to leave the screen without saving. Same is for maximum water level. Maximum water level is point from ground to outlet. So when the water will be going out of the of the biology without any pumping. Also use up or down arrow, press OK for saving or escape for abort. And if you have an overflow of water or possible overflow of water within the biology, you can also set the high water alarm to activate it. And then you need to set the alarm level accordingly when the alarm should get activated. Change minimum and maximum aeration percentage. If you want to change the aeration settings, you need to enter the service menu, select quick, select times quick, and then select aeration time. Get to minimum aeration, change it with up or down arrow, save it with OK or abort with escape. Same needs to be done for max aeration. You can change it with up or down. You can save it with OK or you can leave it without saving by pressing escape. Set filling time. If you want to change the times for filling, you go to the service menu, go to quick, get to times quick and then you select filling. Filling one, you can choose with left and right arrows if you want to set seconds, minutes or hour. With arrow up or arrow down, you can change the value. If you want to save it, press OK. If not, press Escape. The same can be done for the second filling. You can change it with arrows up or arrows down. You save it with OK or you abort with Escape. Manual mode. When you press OK on the screen operating hour, you will have to enter the password. If you enter it correctly, you will get to the service menu. In the service menu, you will find the manual mode. And if you press OK, you can then access each and every step available for the control unit to activate directly. For example, when you go to fill in, it is set to auto, you go to deactivate it and then you go to activate it. As soon as it's, as the marker is on activated, it will open up the valve and activate the compressor. If you press OK or escape, you will get back and the control unit will automatically 
resume to its former status. Load factory settings. To load a factory settings, you need to enter the password, get into the service menu, select service, press OK, and then go to load factory settings. If you want to, press OK. If not, press escape. Thank you.